As you can see, bikes and scooters are in demand in Moscow, but as with any petrol powered machine, the environment is always a concern. However, that creates a niche in the market for green newcomers. Pavel Voitov was Russian pit bike champion in 2013 and has played an active part in promoting the sport in Russia. Having reached the top of his game, he's now looking for new ways to get his kicks. Pavel's found a new toy to play with, but don't be fooled by its size. This mighty electric mini can hold its own against much larger petrol bikes, as Pavel found out when he took it to the races. It's much easier to steer this motorbike because it's very light, much lighter than bikes that run on petrol. It's a big advantage. We tried it out in the second stage of the Russian pit bike championship. I pulled away from my opponents right from the start and then completed the first lap faster than anyone else. I deliberately left the track after that because it was just a demonstration. I wanted to show people how powerful a small motorbike can be. It accelerates extremely fast and I don't think a petrol engine will ever be able to do anything like that. It also only has one gear, while with petrol motorbikes you need to change gear and every split second it takes you to change gear is important in a race. So this gives you maximum possible acceleration. It's amazing, really one of a kind. The e-bike is made in Moscow by Della. The secret behind its killer characteristics is all in the motor, which despite weighing just 4.8 kilograms, generates 9 kilowatts of power which is then fed directly to the wheel. The company also built the frame, battery packs, controller and software to go with it. The engines that are currently on the market surprised me, because they were also heavy, but not that powerful. So we made some prototypes. Right from the start, we'd made up our mind to use air cooling, which requires much fewer parts. Inside the engine, there's a fairly powerful air current that transfers heat from the hot components to the outer body, where it cools naturally by the wind. Moreover, the efficiency of our engine is about 90%, so it generates much less heat anyway. However, the electric bike has generated a lot of buzz. So much so that Della has already designed three other models, including two full-sized motocross bikes and an urban version that's at the prototype stage. The first batch of 100 is due this winter and has already been snapped up, with a full-size urban model having a predicted range of 200 kilometers on a single charge, which costs between 35 and 70 cents, it's easy to see why. But it's no good having all these top specs if the bike doesn't look the part. So Della got in touch with Moscow-based industrial design company Artop for a helping hand. The designers drew up countless concepts for a motocross-style bike before they eventually agreed on the final version. It doesn't weigh a gram more than it has to. We've simply removed all the non-load-bearing parts. There's also our original design, which allows us to have high engine capacity combined with small size and, most importantly, lightweight. Even in this day and age, computer models sometimes aren't enough fully to evaluate a design. So Artop uses industrial plasticine to bring their drawings to life and get an impression of the final product. After hours of sticking and pressing, Della's urban motocross bike is beginning to take shape. Vladimir has been riding bikes since he was a child and uses extensive experience to make sure the bike is practical as well as pretty. The first rendering was a bit too wide and bulky, but after a few pointers, the right balance had been reached. There are other e-bikes on the block, including the Zero FX from California and Austria's KTM Freeride E. The top spec FX has a 133 km range, weighs 120 kilos, and costs $12,000. The KTM, on the other hand, has a much smaller battery capacity, giving it a runtime of between 20 to 90 minutes, and costs $13,500. When the Dell is finished, it's expected to be faster, lighter, and less than half the price. The inevitable rise in oil prices is only going to spark advances in energy storage technology making it both more efficient and affordable. And once the battery bottleneck has been broken, e-bikes are going to go faster and further than ever before.